another project hi I'm your girl Kia P and welcome to keeping up with Kia P right so we back to do another resin project yes resin project and I'm gonna take you down because I need to get started I've already mixed eight ounces of resin it's already been separated we're gonna put the colors in and we're gonna get ready to pour and get this popping okay so but before we do that real quick go ahead and hit that subscribe button below go hit that subscribe button below and then go ahead and give me those thumbs up right thumbs up hit that bell that notification bell so that you can be notified when new content is coming your way so with no more further ado we hitting the floor let's go let's begin let's do it. so here we go what we're gonna do today is a resin notebook getting ready for our pop-up shop this weekend so I'm like only have one left and so I need to make at least at least two so I'm gonna start with this one and we're gonna use acrylic paints to make our colors this time I'm gonna do a little bit of this Caribbean blue type colors like a dark Caribbean blue and then I'm gonna do yellow a little drip of this yellow a couple drips of that in there and then I'm gonna do this nice hot fuchsia pink I'm gonna put that in here and I'm hoping that it gives me the same effect that it had when I did it with the earrings and stuff so I'm gonna get some orange wheel sticks I need to put that on my need some popsicle sticks I need to put that on my my list because I don't like the big ones so I need some smaller ones and I'm gonna go ahead and mix these colors up I like to push the colors down into the resin before I stir push it down and then stir it up and I want this nice pretty fuchsia color I got that one going oh let me show you guys the color see that nice pretty and it's kind of transparent because that particular um it's a fluorescent and i do believe it is a transparent color so it's not going to get too much oops too much more um opaque or anything but i'm gonna put a, i put a little bit more in there to give it just to make make it a little bit more more vibrant and that's a little bit more vibrant yeah okay then we have our yellow and I'm gonna push him down in there first and then stir push and stir stir that up and this is a bright yellow is what it says so I'm going to put a little bit more of it in here because I want that to be just a little bit more vibrant. And this is also not, is not an opaque paint. So, but that, that made it just a little bit more, more vibrant. Stir that up really good. Make sure you stirring your colors up real good, especially if you're using acrylics. We got the blue going. We're gonna push it down up in the resin. Just push and then stir it. Push and stir. And this blue, this blue is a real, real bold color. But 
but I want to put just a little bit more in there. Again, to make it a little bit more vibrant. This is going to be for the first one. Okay, yeah. I want it to be just a little bit transparent, but not like where you can't see the, the beauty of the colors. And I'm hoping that when I pour these three together, like it did with the earrings, that it gives me that rainbow effect when they blend. Okay? So, I want, what do I want? Dark color. Hmm, blue on top, bottom, blue on top or bottom. I think I want to do, oh, we could do blue in the middle. We could do blue in the middle. Or yellow. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay, we doing blue. Yeah, we're going to do blue. Blue on the bottom. Here we go, guys. Yep, we've already started. We've already started it. And I'm just pouring slowly. And I'm going to come over here to this other one, do the same thing. And I got them set up somewhere, like I know the where the the holes are facing each other because that lets me see the back and the front okay still got some blue left I'll let that sit then I'm going to come because blue and yellow makes green I'm going to put the yellow in the middle and then the yellow and the pink should give me like a orange hopefully I want them to touch touch just so they can start blending this is a bright real bright yellow so as the fall starts to creep in it starts to get dark early you got something that's going to keep you light and spirit right something that's going to keep you nice and light and spirit I'm gonna come back with that blue right along the back edges Now we're going to come back with that pink. This, these two together should give me like an orange. And they touch and meet, so we're going to see what that does. doing it giving me that nice pretty rainbow effect right in the areas where they touching so I'm getting two additional colors just by strategically pouring them against each other Okay, 
Okay, so I use all the pink. I still got a couple ounces of resin left. What you need going into these fall months. You need something bright and pretty. Oh, 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 we gotta get that out of there. Y'all see that? Just came and landed all in the video. No, no, sir. Long tweezers. That's the stuff that I be hating is when I need something and I can't find it. Okay, I got to get this out of here. So, we just have to do it with our finger. Gross. Oh, okay, moving on. So, I'm coming back with this yellow. Filling up what I can. We're going to blend it in a minute. But we just want to make sure everything is good. Okay, and we're going to finalize out with our blue. I still have a quite a bit of this left to fill the bottom, so that's good. That's okay. That's good. And do y'all see that? Like, it's giving me that rainbow love piece vibe. something peaceful and nice and vibey to use as a slogan off on the top part all right so we have have that you see how it's blending let me move that out the way so you can see you see how it's blending and giving me that nice color so I'm just gonna take my spatula and right where there's voids just get the resin to touch. It's more than enough in here. So it's just allowing it to connect. And once it connects, and then my table. And this is how I, I didn't even know at first that the table was sitting on the slant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn them around so it can run the opposite direction. And give me that extra push I need to come down this way, towards this way, and fill. So you use everything that you can. See that? And now it's full. It's completely, completely full. Oh, that's going to be cute. That's going to be real cute. So I learned I learned something with just mixing colors. And then it's, it's got that green in there. Y'all see that green and orange going through there? That is so pretty. And so that's going to be one job. 
Now I need to wipe my 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 um cups. Um, yeah, wipe my cups out and pour the next one. One, two, three, Sit tight while I'm getting prepared to pour the next one. And I'll come back and show y'all how we fire the bubbles out. Sit tight. Okay, I am back, guys. We're going to go ahead and torch some of the bubbles out here. Get it nice and smooth. I have found the color that I want to do the next one in, so. I think the big the next big journal thing I want to do I'm gonna do for a guy but this one next one is definitely gonna be these I'm gonna do two more and they'll be they'll be for a guy and I'll make those do a video for them too oh that is gorgeous y'all see how it's running and creating these colors super adorable I love it I love it all right so that's one hold on i'm gonna get the last little couple bubbles all right so that's one i'll come back and show y'all when we what the next step is gonna be on this one sit tight okay we back with the second one it's gonna be the second journal and i already got this resin for it so we gonna split it up and i'm gonna pour about two ounces in here and then mix it with this glitter we're gonna use this glitter y'all know I like this glitter a teal color would be cute that would be pretty with that I think that's what we'll do to them I'm going to go ahead and mix my glitter up real good, teal and purple, because that's what I'm seeing in this glitter. Like a greenish, purplish type deal, but we're going to make it purple. And this other one is going to have purple in it and I have a purple hip right here and I'm gonna use the glue stick mix that on up real good this is like a lavender this is gonna be pretty and this is an opaque But I want to make it iridescent. And I have some of this iridescent um, um, mix. It's called an iridescent medium. I've never used it. So guess what? We're going to use it today. It don't hurt to try something new, right? It do not hurt to try something new. I dropped the top, so I'm looking for the top, and we're going to add that on in with that purple. See what it do. I just want to see what it do. Uh-oh. Hold on, guys. I'm 
Hold tight. Well, I lost my light. I can't really see, guys, but I see it in there, and it's pretty. I am, like, super upset right now. I can't get the light to work. So, I really can't um, see the color, but my, I'm on this time with this resin, so I can't friggle with this light. Otherwise, my resin is going to set up. So I'm going to go ahead and pour my purple across the top. I'm so sorry. Um, it is so pretty. I can see it from this light. I don't know. If, I, I don't know. It's weird, but I'm sorry, guys. I'll try to while it's sitting, sitting up. I'll try to um, figure with the light and hopefully come back and show you before I put it in the oven what it's what it looks like in the resin oven. Make sure I say that. Okay. And you still kind of can see it a little bit, but that is so pretty. I must go down at the bottom. And this is getting warm already. And across the top. And I might only have enough. To do one side. Which is good. I would have rather ran out. Um. the glitter than with the purple. So. I like the glitter but cleaning it out the cups is a booger. I think I should just have like one cup that is strictly for glitter. That's pretty. A little different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it. And drag them into drag it in, up and into down so it just blended a little bit better I gotta pour some more anyway and blend that up there. Now, now it looks like a garden or something of the sort. Maybe throw some fairies or something on it. A little fairy, a little Tinkerbellish. I gotta bring it all together. 
But now that it's blended, that looks a lot better. It looks fairyish. All right. So hold tight while I pour some more resin. All right. So we got the light back on. And guys, when I say this is so pretty, it is so pretty. Literally, it is so pretty. I've already um, taken the bubbles out, so it's just sitting, waiting to be cured. And so what I'm going to do is clean my cups up while I wait for a couple of more bubbles. But I just wanted to show you guys how pretty all oh, this is so pretty. This is beautiful. I'm going to have to do a big one like this. But stay tuned. We will be back with the finished product. Okay, guys. We are back with our journals. They came out beautiful. This is the first one. We're going to go ahead and put the wording on here. I have my words from printed out from my Cricut Joy. It says, dream it, plan it, live it. And we're going to place that right in the middle of this purple one. Like so. And peel off the, the um, tape. This is our um, strong grip. You have a Cricut, Cricut Joy, then you already know how to um, do these. You can also use, oh gosh, you can also use um, sticker paper, transparent sticker paper that you can see through. You can get that at Office Depot or um, any one of those little sites. Or places that sells office equipment or paper. Okay. My tea don't want to stay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull. And this is our strong grip. I mean, it's it's really sticking to the letters. I don't want to let the letters go. almost there don't want to lose anything so making sure I have my dots to my eyes and all of that good stuff and it came out nice okay little little challenging but we made it we made it and so it has the wording on there dream it plan it live it and then we're gonna come back and put our resin on top. I have a little bit, only for the, um, only for one. Then I have to, got the other one draining over here and we're gonna pour that on the other one. And so we have the rainbow one here. I'm gonna use this one for the back. And this one says, you don't have to find, you don't find a happy life, you plan it. And we're going to put that, I want to put it where you can see it really good. And it's going to um, show up well. And I think right on top of this blue and green would be real pretty. And I'm not going to um, press that all the way down. Mm 
and I'm just using my nail. I normally need to use my scraper. I don't realize that I chipped the nail too. Just take a little. This is our strong grip transfer tape, so y'all, it's strong. I mean, it stick really, really good. And I'm trying to pull it up. Okay. All right. So far, so good. Maybe not. Sometimes you just have to come, come at it from a different angle. My U is not sticking to, it's not sticking down. So I'm gonna have to go get something to press it. Someone said they had a hard time. One of the um, subscribers said they had a hard time hearing me in a video. And I don't know if it was because of my resin heater or what. But that's the sound that you're hearing in the back. I can't get this U to stick down. This is weird. Maybe if I come from the top. Oh, there we go. Okay. I was about to say. Sometimes you just have to belangle the way you pull. So that everything will stay down. Now this tape is good for um, the glitter paper because the glitter paper have a hard time sticking to the regular transfer, but it's a mess for this um, perm just regular permanent vinyl. So I won't use it again. I'll use the regular transfer. So you live and you learn. Oh, vinyl is Lord. It's a lot. But it looks real pretty. Take it back off the light a little bit so you can see it. Right? You don't find a happy life, you plan it. Okay? And so, kind of want to add a little couple of embellishments on this. So we'll probably find some, um, I got some rhinestone flowers or something we'll put on there. But we're gonna go ahead and pour our resin on the top to seal it, as we always do. Before we do that, we're gonna make sure we put our logo sticker on here. Branding is important. Gonna do the same for the other one. And these is just clear stickers that I made on clear sticker sheet of my logo. Save money. And I'll just put it right on there. Okay. And then I always go on the back of my journals, either at the top or the bottom, depending on 
the design. So we got our resin already ready to go. It's third and ready. This is our last pour for this one. We're going to try to hopefully have enough for both. But if not, we're going to definitely have enough to cover one. And um, make sure that it's all the way covered, but not over poured. This is a great tool again to use. It's, I got this from the Dollar Tree. It only costs a dollar. It helps you get into those cracks and crevices real well. Spread the material all the way around and be precise without, again, going over. So I can push it right up to, right up to the edges. And then cover. Make sure everything else is covered. Level itself out. Okay. I'm going to do the same to this other one and then I'll be right back okay sit tight all right we are back with the rainbow one we're going to go ahead and put our uh, top pour on it get ready to get it prepared to be cured Here to take our spatula and even it out all the way around. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. And if you don't, just go ahead and support anyway. <laughs> Love to have you a part of the Power Projects Keeping Up with Kia P family. My crafty crafters. And I gotta come. He's, my husband said I have to come up with a a better nickname than crafty crafters. I like that. I think that that explains just who we are in a nutshell. And that's my game, right? Y'all let me know what y'all think. If we should change it or not. <laughs> I'm going to do whatever you guys suggest. Y'all like, oh, that's fine. Then we'll leave it. If not, leave me some suggestions in the comment, comment section. 
got my resin heater going so I hope you guys can hear me and I'm just making sure that we are fully covered and even though everything has nice coverage over it and I'm just letting the drizzle from my little wand here go in there that's gonna be cute we added the butterflies to it I couldn't find my rhinestone one so I added that instead really like that bright pink. This is so... Uh-oh, we got a little bit of overpour down here on the bottom. Just moving it up towards the top. And spreading it out. Making sure that every part of the mold, every part is covered evenly. You don't want to leave no gaps or anything like that in it. I'm just making sure that I'm going as close to the edge without going over the edge. We just want to make sure, again, that it's covered. Is so pretty. I'm really liking this. I'm just scraping. What's left out? And this was about maybe two and a half to three ounces just to do the cover total it takes about um, eight ounces to do a complete complete journal four for each side without um, any wording or anything just a straight pour and dec decorating it use four four um, ounces and then we came back and used maybe three and a half I mean maybe um two and a half three maybe and I'm just cleaning it while it's sitting printing the journal pages to it now so it'll be ready to go come back and hit it hit the bubbles out I did let my resin sit for 10 minutes and hit it with the um, heat gun 
but I'm just making sure that we don't have any bubbles. I want it as clear and as smooth as possible. So I always, I use the torch. Some people like to use the alcohol. I just don't prefer that method myself. Um, some people can mix it well. Will it do right? It just didn't do right for me when I first tried it. And so I just don't want to risk making no mistakes but whatever works for you again it's your world you can do whatever you like i just prefer this method let's see when you check it i see a little spot right there that needed resin so it's always important to constantly constantly check your work you just never know. And being that I have my other, um, the other journal in the oven and I want this to go on the bottom, I'm going to wait for that one to get finished so I can put it on the bottom of my resin oven and it'll be flat and even and dry without running. I'm just making sure that it is super clear over my wording. There's no bubbles in the wording or in the, um, and it's like two nice bubbles right there. So I'm going to get my orange wood stick and get those out and some paper towels. with earlier I don't know what that is but it's got to come out alright and I think we are all set I'm trying to get this to Trying to fix this U so that it'll lay smooth. There we go. It's a little bit better. It ain't perfect, but it's better. Yeah. and small. Alright, 
So now we're going to let this sit. And we're going to come back and finish up, okay? Sit tight. All right, guys. We are back with our planners. We're going to go ahead and demold them. They came out really, really nice, really pretty, really pretty. So we're going to go ahead and take them out. And I'm going to show you guys how we build them. out it looks pretty clean pretty good this is a new tool I purchased it's called a debris um, and you're supposed to just be able to run it along the edges of your project to get the flash off like so but I find that I still have to I still have to um, sand it because although it takes off the flash, it doesn't make it super smooth. Um, and I like for my stuff to be real smooth, but it do work for as getting the flash and stuff off. Actually, that do feel pretty, pretty okay for the most part. So, and you just lay it up against it and, and pull. And it's supposed to keep you from having to use a sander. But again, like I say, I find myself using the sander the last time but this is doing real good this time I might, I might have to sand along the corners but that did real good I don't have my apron on I better put it on alright so we back um yeah so that did pretty good it did pretty good be them little spots like that that'll give you um, and I think that's just because it's got the glitter in it but yeah that, that looks pretty okay I'm gonna do this one and I'm just taking my knife along the edge and I saw this on Facebook and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it. Um, I like it. it. It it does make it a lot easier and simpler to get the flash off. As long as it ain't too thick. And again, like I said, I'm still probably gonna use my um drill just to go around the edges because it don't have a bit on the end so I'm going to save that for the last thing alright so that part is done now we're going to get ready to make clean our holes up alright and to clean our holes up we're going to use a it is a 3 16th HSS bit. I'm gonna put that into my um, drill here. Yeah, I get to pull out the big tools. Got my drill here. I'm gonna put my bit in. And again, this is just to clean my tools up. So, I mean, clean my holes up. And it's the same size as the holes that's right here. And as you see, some of them needs to be drilled through as that, that is just plain. And that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean them all up. And what I like to do is take them, lean, make sure my hand is out the way. 
and, and push through. Nice and easy. And then my drill bit is a little wobbly, so I gotta fix that. I don't like the way that that's doing. We want it to be perfectly straight. careful because you can crack crack it so you just want to do a little at a time and that cleans your holes right on up do the same thing to this side So now what we're going to do, we have our three ring coils. Open these up. And put them through the holes. And I'm going to close that ring because we're going to open it. We're going to open them back up. Sometimes these can be tight, so I just open them all the way. Put them through. These, these can be purchased on Amazon. A set of 12. And it's funny because I thought I had more, but I'm already out. That's my second set. So, and that's how that opens right there. And you can fill it with whatever you like. Um, it takes all kind of 5A paper. Um, so you can fill it with whatever you want to fill it with. But I create my own paper on my own fillers. So I'm gonna show you guys how, how I do that. Make sure everything is here. And it is. Make sure I'm not filling it with the wrong stuff. And I'm not. So this is a whole. This is a whole set. That I created. Hold on, I'll show it to you. Give me one second. All right, cause I'm I have to my videos is so I need storage. So, but what I did was create this binder, and I got the pages from Amazon, and then I designed them on Canvas. So I have my weekly binding, my weekly um, sheets right and I design those and I'll show y'all everything once I get it into the binder okay because it'll just be easier for me to show it to you that way and keep everything nice and organized so these is like the ones I have for sale at the pop-ups 
and I cater to whichever demographic that I think will be in that area. Um, and I have a little bit of everything for everybody, but I'm just going to show you this one because this one was already put together. I'm just putting them in a different, putting them in this um, folder. And so I'm just filling up. Again, you can buy this paper already, already like this with the holes blank, and you can design them your pages in canvas, Canva for free. Upload them, download them into your computer, save them. I mean, you could. It's endless, right? And so that is. Let me position this so it'll close and open with ease. I don't know what that what that is how it got there but it's there nevertheless just a little nick there can't really see it but i see it all right and so that is the 5a binder so i'll just show you the pages so you open it up and it has that where you put your name and everything girl boss weekly um, appointment pages, all design. You can find a lot of the free printables for these um, templates and stuff on Google for free, some writing pages, but I designed everything. Um, and how are you feeling today? Circle one, happy, sad, excited, calm, anxious, down. We wanna put depressed because we don't wanna claim that. And then explain the day that you are having, that you're having. And so it just gives you some little areas to just kind of vent, whatever. To-do list. I designed those pages so you have front and back of that. And then bill pay, bill paying pages for your bills and whatnot. So you have that in there as well. Yep. And that's it important contacts at the back and then that's your journal or binder or, binder or whatever okay all right so that's that one and i'll show you the other one one is complete sit tight all right so this is the other one you don't find a happy life you plan it that came out real pretty i really like this one a lot so we can go ahead and mold same thing take the flash off and let's just have a little bit hmm. I don't know guys this one is a little bendable should be much sturdier than that. Hmm. I don't know. You won't have to see about that one. This one. A little more sturdy. with this one feels not as sturdy as, as I would want it to be and I'm not quite sure why 
So we're going to go ahead and the top, this, now it should, it should feel like this, like this is not bending at all, but this is, and I believed, I believe we use a different resin on this one. The top part is hard, but this bottom, and it could be because of the color, I don't know. I'm going to try to cure it one more time and see if it gets harder. Okay, but well, we're going we gonna to go ahead and put it together. And then I can just set it in there. So I got my rings again. Sometimes you can put, oh, we can clean the holes out. Sometimes you can put it back in, in there and warm it up and it'll get hard. These are all clear. These, on the other hand, and this is thick. So I'm, mm, it's weird. But that's, that's resin. Taking my drill, cleaning up the holes. Binding rings in here. This is so cute. So girly, so pretty. Colorful, it just make you happy. to put our stuff in it. Hold on one second. So I got my four dividers that I made and created. And this, that would take a whole nother video to show you guys how I did those. So I, that video will be. Everything is, is just so pretty. It's cutting my videos down shorter and shorter my time. But nevertheless, there you have it. Okay. And then always include my logo. I should have got some of the bubbles out, but yeah, it's on the back anyway. It's cute. But that came out super cute. Those are rhinestones. Super cute. I love it. I will have a um, front cover page for it. So it'll have a front cover page. That'll be blank on one side so you don't see that through there. But yeah, just wanted to show y'all how the journals look. Okay. Hit subscribe, hit like, hit thumbs up, give me, um, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we upload new video content and I will show you the finished pictures and have a good one. Catch you on the next one.